All right, so today we are learning how to do a reverse reverb effect, which sounds something like this. So you can use this effect on any instrument pretty much, but it's used a lot on vocals for it's it sort of has a haunting effect to it. Let me solo out the vocals for this. Here we go. It's kind of hard to describe, but how do you do it? So let me undo my progress, and I'll show you how. So what we have here is just the vocals. The voices of the grave. There's a couple different ways to go about this, but this is usually how I do it. So take the vocal track, and I usually amp up the reverb to a kind of ridiculous extent. The voices of That's pretty ridiculous. So. I've already chopped off the first bit here, just the first line. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this track. Actually, no, first I'm gonna bounce this in place. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna bounce off just this section here with the reverb tail. So what we have is just this. And all we really care about is that little end bit there. But first what we're gonna do is we're gonna, if you don't see this yet, just double click here. And this will pop up, and you're going to go to your file editor, functions, reverse. So now what we have is this. Pretty great, right? So I'm just going to cut out the, the trail right here. That should be good. So, oops, not that. We're going to hit T for our, our tools, and then we're going to hit 5 for our scissors. We're going to cut out that. All right, TT four pointer tool. Cut out that. And pretty much done. Let's just line this up and see if we got a working effect here. So, about to where the vocals start. We'll solo this out as well and unmute this. Oops. Turn the mute off. And let's see what we got. Let's turn the reverb down on the main track again. The voice Sounds pretty good. Let's play it with the guitars. The voice of the crowd. It definitely has a sort of indescribable effect, but and with most effects, it just takes a little bit of fiddling around to get it right, but that's about it. Let me play it again. Alright, and that does it. I'll see you guys next time.